Welcome to the night stream. Okay, let's get started with this. Okay. Hi, Colin. Uh, Colin, can you give me your reply ID of that CK game if you don't mind? <laughs> okay, bro. Uh, if you don't mind, can you give me your reply ID? Uh, in fact, I'll do the replay review for you right now. Okay, now I do the replay review based on you learning something. Okay, so don't take it like uh, in a way that some people, some people take it in a way like it's roasting or something. But it's not like roasting. I do this to myself so many times. That's how basically it goes. Like I accept my mistakes and I move on. Okay. So we are waiting for Colden replay review right now. We are watching his CK game, how he played. So I want to give you some tips like how you can improve on that game maybe. I think it's been a while since I think the last time I did this was with Sajay Sama. Are hey hey hey. Oh, no mic. No, no. Are mic is somewhere. Hey, this guy is trolling me. No mic it seems. Bro, mic is there. Oh my god, it's so loud. Okay, okay. Hi sorry sir. How are you man? Yes, yes, I got the idea. No, my dig actually guy. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Yeah, I got it. Okay, first thing I want to see like how you play the game. Based on your kills you look nice, but I don't like your net worth. Your net worth is very less. I think if you had more kills, like you should be like 4,000. I think you had a CM in your lane, so it's very hard to farm. That is also there. So I'm going to see how you play in the lane and I'm going to give you some tips like how to act up all of these things. Small minor details. And then I'm going to see how you take team fights and how you initiate. Those are the things that you need to work on really. and uh, one more thing is that I will see how you die so you need to avoid those things after that like you will learn how you die then then those things will help you keep next time like you can't go like this or you can't go like this so those things will help you so, okay, so first thing first you have a nice block you have half HP and then I think you're alone in the lane so Keep in mind you're alone in the lane and I think you did a good body block but the creeps are kinda like uh, the creeps are here and you want to deny this range creep so you want to take the lane there. So I think you try to aggro pull here that is nice. Uh, you did a nice aggro pull and trying to open here. that is very good. Trying to get the okay you didn't use this right you had this thing but it's okay I think it didn't get denied so it's fine. Right, but you took a lot of harass for that and you didn't get the creep also. That is a bit awkward there, I would say. Either you use the stun or you just stay far, like you would have not taken a little bit harass. So like minor details, okay. I tell this because I was like the Yataro and the other guys and I see that like, they do the small things very cool, very nicely. Okay, this is very nice. You are aggro pulling again as soon as you are trying to pass. Like when I see those Yataro and this thing guys, they don't uh, they don't waste time or like they don't waste region like they will do. You are doing very nice with the Yataro. I like your Yataro. 
like they keep optimum vision if like the crypts are here and the crypt is full hp they will be here so if cm wants to hit you right if cm wants to hit you she has to come here and then she will take the aggro of this crypt to hit you so it's like small optimum distance and then if the crypt is below half hp they will aggro pull again uh, so the crypt comes here and then you can last it safely like taking less harassment so minor details are here. I think you played very well. I'm gonna fast forward a bit because I'm seeing you're playing you're doing good. Yeah, that that was that was a nice time then. Saving a jacket, otherwise uh, he would have taken more Harris. Okay. So your yeah, skill build is also good man. You took two points in this, uh, I mean one point and one point each, and later third skill you have to take because you have like kill potential right now. I think your kill potential is CM. So I don't know if you do it. You have already one kill. I think that's on for first blood. What about the item? I didn't notice your item and regeneration. I want to see that also. I think you started the lane with one tank or what? No, you started the lane with two tanks. Okay, you started it with two tanks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, one more minor detail I would suggest you is you buy magic stick. You are playing against BS as well as CM. So you had the first blood. Uh, after first blood, you will buy one tango, at least one more tango, and then this magic stick. That will help you even more in this way. Press is also nice that you got, but magic stick is like, uh, it's much better, I would say, compared to Bracer because. What Bracer does, it gives you only 3 damage and that extra HP regen, right? And nothing else is the same, like you had the stats already. So I will suggest you go Magic Stick sometimes. But Magic Stick helps you to sustain in the lane. It's like free tango uh, and free clarity every time. Because enemies will be casting spells. Okay, let's see. I want to fast forward a bit. Okay, I think we are rich. Now what did you get after this? You got boots, right? Where's your courier? Oh wait, where's your courier? What is your courier getting? Where is your courier by the way? Okay, you got boots and this. Boots. I don't know, I just feel like boots is not good. You know? Either you get your helm. Or you wait for help, or you wait for this or this. Like, boots is good for running, but you can dominate this lane with your Jakiro in this. So, a little boots is also nice, right? It's not, it's not, not like the boot is very good though. I see you're rushing your power thread. That is very good. Always when you when you are like a uh, player carry type of hero, going power thread is very good. Okay, so how do you initiate this one? Okay, they initiate on you. They are four stages. I think Jakiro was not on the same page. No, he was on CM. I would suggest you get the gloves of his first before your boots I think because you have more damage and you have like close up gap right with your reality rift so maybe boots first uh, sorry gloves of his first before that so you can actually create more also because you have more damage in this kind of details but it's, uh, it's like very good because then you have more attack speed advantage also right so you can last it much better and you can deny creeps or you can last it him also and hit that then yeah i would suggest you to do one more aggro pull here like if possibly like one more aggro pull here like this will bring the lane a bit here and then the creeps will be here now this script dies i think the lane will meet uh, most probably here otherwise you could have made the lane here like little bit here and that little bit advantage is very good against bs 
because then you get to run him down otherwise he will be running at high speed and then you have to chase under tower even cm like even cm is scared of jakiro ck in this lane like you should try to aim ck uh, this cm mode because cm is more killable than bs bs has eight armor cm has one i think okay three she has three armor okay fuck holy shit she has three armor okay but i think uh, you should try to aim this guy more like, if cm comes in close range here you should try to ideally like this was the point i think this was the point where you could have killed him because he used a frostbite already so what is that you should punish this mistake from cm immediately you know he used a frostbite already to harass jakiro like literally nothing and then you should be here like this and you should reality and try to kill cm because she has no frostbite for the next 10 seconds she has this but she will take like half more than half hp damage and then she's half hp and you can kill him in the lane so ck actually punishes a lot like the supports in the lane because of this because the reality rift uh yeah reality rift but i get it you have more focus on the denies but you should also look to punish the support yeah don't be like my bad or anything these are like uh, these things you will notice like when you think of killing okay i understand you are only thinking of farming here Uh, which is very nice as a offlaner but sometimes going aggressive is also nice like you can really push it to the limit but but try to go on like this when the enemy has used the spell like in this case cm had used the spell right if cm if cm used both the spell then you're free to go on cm man cm is like a bot hero once she uses both the spell she has no defensive advantage and uh, she has no movement speed also to escape whereas you have infinite movement speed and then you have a lot of damage also. So keep that in mind. Can mm -mm. who got the lotus? By the way, I didn't notice the who got the lotus. Who got the lotus? Oh, he's got the lotus. Yeah, that magic stick would have helped you so much in the lane. I think BS has this skill and CM has this skill, so would have helped much more. I feel like, hey bro, what is this? Oh, you max this skill. Oh, uh, you're supposed to take one point in this, bro, and then uh, max this skill. Like third skill, you have to max all the time. One level in each is enough. Then once you max this, you have to get either. I think this is much better compared to this, because then you have more pull distance as well as same mana it is, but more armor and less pull down. So maxing this is the ideal part after this. But you have to max this, even the offline, because this gives more damage, and then you can hit more. I think one more thing is that we don't keep in mind is when you are playing against carry bloodseeker, keep in mind that they don't scale much of this. I mean, this is free damage. I get it. You ran away, but you missed two creeps there. So they max this skill and this. So I think you sh don't really care that much of being silenced because you have third skill to it. But anyway, you did good there. You didn't miss two CS, but that's okay. I think I think at this point you should go on him. Yeah, you should definitely use the first skill first. See, this is the thing is though you use Sun, you know, when the enemy is like far away. But you should use your reality rip first. In order to pull the enemy closer. Now this guy is running at you, and if you stun him, he's running at you already. He's running away from you in blood seeker, so he's gonna get stunned here. That is my guess, because I know how much animation it takes. Okay, ah, uh, he didn't run also. <laughs> okay, he didn't run. He didn't run also. He would have been stunned here somewhere, and I don't think you could have pulled also. <laughs> But still. <laughs> I'm drinking man. So anytime you you want to stance, uh, you need to use this first. Okay, this will ensure that 
that is very near to you and then you have to use this so if you use this first right he will get stunned away very far away but if you use this first he will be stunned very close to you so you can get an extra two hits and make use of your stun duration more okay so that's the logic behind the you use this first and then you use this okay yeah but uh, but late game it changes okay late game is like when you get the shard i mean late game is like mid game time when you get the shard you need to use this first because sometimes you just have to use the stun uh to like poke the enemy and not come in that is after shard okay after shard it it is a different hero you can't use that because if you use the second skill first you will bring the enemy closer to you as well as the enemy hero so that means a lot of spells are gonna come on you but if you use this skill just like that uh they are gonna get uh, what you call uh they are gonna get illusion damage from this and it's gonna poke them you know and it's gonna make them think like okay what is my next move should i press bkb or not like you can poke them like that Dyer's middle tower. yeah you should try to punish him for that like if you have this hero, right, you just need to punish them for using like bad skills. CM just casually use that second skill to punish you. That means she has no skill for the next four seconds or five seconds. So you can punish them like that. I mean, you're playing good, man. Uh, you're playing good with the CS, I will say. That is very good for offline. But these are like punishments, you know, when you want kills. The skills is like oh, one. Things that destroy the lane, right? And they are like punishing you again and again for coming to last it, say. Okay. What happened there? Did he overstab or what? Did he come for one last hit? Did you punish him? Ah, okay. He's way too far. He's way too far. You stun him immediately. Okay, yeah, I think this stun is very good compared to that stun bro. The reason why I say that because this guy is very close, right? So stun him immediately to get the more benefits. So this is very nice stun, uh, I would suggest. Because you are very close to him and yeah. This is very good stun. And then you saved your reality rip since he escaped. That is very good thing. Uh, thinking very good there. Yeah, you max the stun, which is not quite good because now you can farm. Okay, yeah, the skill build I told you, right? Uh, that is the skill build. So if you max the stun, it's like just a nuke. But if you max the third skill, uh, you can farm much better. You can kill them also much better, and you can sustain and can farm ancients also at some point with this hero. So that is that is the reason why you max third skill. Anyway, these are good traits. You are punishing the CM also for being out of position here. So that this is very good gameplay from you. Okay. But I think this is worse now. You need to punish. I guess you are muting someone. Okay. Okay. I think you have done well. It, you have done very well in the lane. Except for the skill build part and the item, a uh, little bit item, I would say magic stick much sooner. Don't get full the magic wand, okay? There's a difference between getting magic stick and magic wand. Magic wand sometimes grip your lane, okay? So don't buy magic wand fully, unless you are like way to farm and you have a lot of money, then you buy magic wand. But getting magic wand sometimes is griefing, okay? Magic stick is okay. One magic stick is okay. Magic wand sometimes can be griefing. I get it now. You're like you're feeling ideal, right? Because you have max this, and you can't farm like this. So these are like the mistakes I will say because of this. Otherwise, if you had this, you could just farm this easily or get a pull. I think you're gonna get a pull here. Getting the pull. Very nice. You didn't tip him immediately. Oh, you have ember. Okay. Yeah, I wanna. See. Okay. I think I'm, I can't show you too much on how you play because you're playing good otherwise. I, I want to see like your mistakes. Okay? Because your mistakes tell me a lot. Like how you miss it. Okay, I think this was one of them. You die here.
one thing i'm saying is that your power threats is on agility because you want more attack speed but when you're going in danger like this i would suggest you to keep power threats on strength because the 10 attack speed is not that uh, good when it comes to 200 more hp so you will have more hp here and i think this is a very bad initiation because where's your ember by the way oh, wait ember is in the mid end so ember is in the mid end and he has no mana and you are committed on this guy now you are getting punished you ran this side okay fuck. okay you ran the wrong direction I and mean, you took a lot of damage then if we kill this guy we should be able to kill him still not enough damage the nice power threat switch there he doesn't have mana sit down <laughs> kind of hurts Hmm. Yeah, one of the reasons why you lost the fight with Bloodseeker is your third skill is not maxed. And the other thing is that you took more damage from the uh, this. You took more damage from this. I think you took damage from that. Uh, you ran over Jakino is yours. Wait, what? What happened there? Wait, Jakino. I thought Jakino was here. Uh, yeah, you followed a uh, Ember without mana little there and then and then what mis the other mistake that you did was for over extension like you see amber backing off immediately you should run away okay so these are like the things that you have to be aware of when you're playing the game i'm saying that you need to be aware of this guy okay i am um, like i know your amber went over here but you can see his mana pull right so it's like the minor details that you have to look and then one more mistake that you did was you I think you ran this side. Oh yeah, it was already. So you should have okay, you don't have TP also. Where's your TP? Okay, you're not buying TP also. So I think you could have just TP'd here immediately if you had a TP. So I'm seeing like a lot of possibilities for you to escape here. One thing is that uh, you should have just uh, when you saw your ember back off here, you should have just immediately got out. Like you should have not even stunned an over extend here. And the second thing is like you don't have a TP here, which you could have TP'd here. And the third extension was you trying to kill the Bloodseeker instead of running away here. So making them come deep here. So your Wind Ranger may be TP or your Draw may be TP because they are under tower. So that is the third possibility of a death. But I think you you got saved there, you saw. You could have just stunned him and got away, right? Here. Yeah. Yeah, your Ember saves you here. I think he changed him here, maybe. I don't know. Okay, he changed him here, so you could have just ran away. Maybe. But you went for the grid to kill him. Because you didn't check his magic one. So this is, I think you could have just ran uh, to your base right now. So this was your third possibility to save, yeah. Exactly, exactly. These are like the minor details, bro, that you have to, like, develop as a muscle memory to improve. I do this a lot, I do this a lot and then I watch my replays and then I realize like how stupid I was and then I correct myself and then I try to win the game. It's like the minor details that matter a lot. Yeah, so I want to see your next Okay, what is, did you... So I don't want to stress more about your item build bro. Your item, uh, sorry not your item build, your skill build. Your skill build is not allowing you to farm uh, much more on this hero, like you gotta farm much more. Your, your skill build is like you are playing support hero right now because you need farm on this hero you need to get your armlet very soon and then you need to get your okay i think at this point you have to run away once you got one kill bro it's fine to leave that guy yeah see see what see bro see what happened is here Ember, Ember is running away. What you did was you turned on this guys and tried to kill them with a phantasm. I get it, you want to kill them because you feel like you're stronger. But you see one guy is running and the other guy is doing this thing. I don't know if you die here, but I feel like you are dead here. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah you're looking on my Ember. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, that's the thing about the Ember, you know. He's like, he's just gonna poke it and see what happens. And then if it's like, he's gonna get a kill, then he's gonna come it. 
that's how amber game play play style i don't know if you played amber but that is how it feels and you know, then your camera is just uh, locked on amber your i think you are not with it of course you dyer's middle tower has fallen now one more suggestion i would tell you is that use your phantasm in the early game to farm don't use it for the sake of kill okay the phantasm in the early game uh, with the extra illusion you can just farm nc and not come into the lane okay i want to see your farming pattern what did you do up there? okay you tp bot immediately i don't know why you tp bot bro uh one more suggestion i would give you is if the creepers are not under your tower or if you are playing against certain heroes that uh, can be avoided if you just tp to the base like in this case you have a blood seeker right so if blood seeker is a rupture and you don't have a tp so you can tp him base immediately if he tries to solo kill you but now what happened is you don't have a tp for the next 80 seconds so if the enemy team which are they are diving under tower right now you can't help them or you can't help them at top so once the 7 minutes mark is gone try to use try to walk to the lane instead of using the tp because if you have a tp you can help your teammates and get more kills and make enemy punish under the tower so that is one suggestion i would give you yeah at this point you are like feel like like okay i can't farm this creep so i'm farming a little bit less is you're not farming that efficient as i am thinking because you don't have the dart skill yeah i mean this is very good punish but this happened because enemy came under a triangle and they were very close so that is very nice i think i don't know if you escape here we should escape from here yeah so when they are running away from you try to use the reality rift i told you this tip already right i'm not repeating again so try to use the reality rift i think this clay was dead here if you did the reality rift first and then stand the clay a little bit more patient anyway next step so now you don't even have amlet bro you, you had such a good laning stage you know you had the best laning stage that i saw on ck literally the best even despite all that you had the best you had a very good cs but the kills were missing right so you don't still have amlet at 14 minutes amlet is like on ck is like a 11 minutes 12 minutes item so that's a lot of delay cuz amlet i think is very cheap right how much is amlet 2700 something 2500 so yeah very cheap right with power threat you should be like 4000 net worth at that time if i think you owned the lane also so i was expecting much better on like timing and it's because of a skill build that went wrong and you not farming jungle you are not looking to farm jungle that is what i'm saying you are just thinking of lane creeps here and i think this lane creep is not there so try to either go here or sometimes what happens is that supports don't buy buy wards so sometimes you have to buy ward and plant here i don't know if enemy has a ward or sentry here but if you plant a ward and sentry here then you can basically farm this camp this camp or this camp also if you want like this is very hard to farm but this can be farmed if you have a ward i don't know if enemy has okay they have so this if you had a sentry and this thing you could immediately de ward and get the gold also for you in xp dyer's top tower is under attack yeah yeah pretty slow basically you are getting kills right now to get i think this is like i don't know what happened here i didn't see this did this smoke or something okay your team smoke okay. the team smoke and your baiting so that is good bs is showing all on you real the rift stun okay now that is good yeah, so this is nice uh, this is actually very nice move from your team so this way you can get the tower this thing and this once you get this tower right you can just farm this to camp this to whole map and this opens the whole map so getting the bot lane tower is like much important because of that and you have a ck so you can push the lane i think you should hit the tower right now yeah small minor detail that you're missing is like i don't know i, I think you were lost here but you should be just hitting this tower 
I don't know. I feel like you were just lost. And your camera also, bro. One more thing is, I noticed your camera is not on point. So, as soon as you hurt a wiper strike, your camera should go like this and then you should be like looking at this. But I think your camera movement also. So, try to work on that. Try to increase your camera speed and try to look what is happening because I think you did see that. So as soon as you get a sound, uh, you should be looking like what is happening on the map. Like some ulties like Viper Strike, Pudge ulti or Kumka Ship or something like that. Rupture also, I think they have like very huge sound. Like if you're very, if you're close like this, like 2000 units, you get a sound. So you should try to look what is happening, what spells the enemy use. So, so if they use Rupture, then you have pre movement, right? So you can do that. Now Kumka also TP. Yeah, at this point you should live from here bot immediately either you live or you fight i don't know what you guys do Joe is just sitting what's x mark you are going to die yeah you know what i saw bro what i saw is you half hp trying to kill a full hp kunga when bro does not even have silence so that's that's our mistake that i feel like and what is your mistake is you went half HP trying to kill a Kunka and you went very close to him. You should have just stun him here and try to or like see poke poke him, right? That's the word for it. That's the work for it. You just poke him and you see what is happening. Like if you just stun him, you will realize this guy is getting X mark and somebody else will be coming close. So You wouldn't die here. You wouldn't die here if you had not used a reality rift. You should have just done and see what is happening. Like how Ember does. Ember does this to scale and then he sees what is happening. Hey, who is using spell? What? Who is there? And then like that. That's how it is. You would not die here if you had used uh, just done instead of this. Anyways, uh, I want to tell you more is that you need to focus more on farming with this hero compared to like hitting. Uh, People, which you did very good in the lane but uh, after that you didn't do much like you didn't do much farming battle like there's so much farm on the map man i don't know why you guys are concentrated you guys didn't take the tower okay but after you see the kunka i think you should you it is your personal call okay don't mind your teammates your teammates die is okay sometimes but it, dro died okay dro already died just think she got x mark she already died and you should be like i should not tp here I should just go farm my uh, item like your job is to get your omelet right now you used your phantasm your phantasm got destroyed your phantasm very, very bad in the early game even in the late game it's very bad i feel like phantasm is like the worst ability right now and uh, only the shard po point is good like you use your shard to stun the people and that's the only good part otherwise uh, this phantasm sucks in my opinion unless you keep the phantasm at a very distance and then you're here and then you use blink stun and try to kill people i don't know if you do that okay i want to see i think enough of this laning state of a bit i want to see how it's done one more thing yeah your farming pattern kind of is very bad i was expecting a shard here yeah you're getting blink first so my suggestion would be get the shard first compared to the blink blink dagger doesn't give you any stats okay and by the way your shard increases the cast strength of the chaos bolt so you can just poke the enemy from far even without bling dagger okay and then one more thing about the shard is you can farm the full wave like if you just omelet toggle omelet keep the omelet on use a shard on the creep wave at full hp the phantasm illusion will kill everything okay it will kill the one full wave and then you can farm uh, nc by the way and using your shard uh using the chaos bolt keep the power threats on the uh, this intelligence so you can use less mana because this thing 110 mana and you have no mana pool uh, or no mana region right so that is a bit more efficient and try to buy some clarity or get some brain tops also if you want like that will be very good i think there is not much to see right now because uh you went for bling right what did you get so you went for BKB straight away. No, this is wrong item purchase, okay? I would not suggest you get BKB. I hardly buy BKB on this hero unless it's like my 40th minute item. 40th minute I will get. 
start at 15 minutes is best but you have to get omelette before that or even before omelette also if you want like if you're very poor get a shard because shard helps you to farm the creepers shard helps you to poke enemies because shard is your phantasm illusion it's your level one phantasm illusion bro that's what shard is about you know shard creates an illusion of uh, wait yeah shard creates an illusion of the phantasm so it's like your level one ulti with your shard which farms the full wave also so i would suggest you to get shard at 15 minutes without shard it's very hard to play this hero because see otherwise you are not using ulti also you can use your ulti also to farm you can use your shard uh, this chaos ball also to farm Yeah, what I'm saying is like you have wrong itemization apart from that. I want to see where your deaths are. Okay, you had one death here. What happened? Yeah. What I will suggest you, bro, when you are playing Chaos Knight, okay? you have no way to defend this unless you have your shard okay if you had a shard you could just poke them with a stun and defend so what you need to keep in mind is that i can't defend this area so i need to farm on the map either you go and farm here and this uh, make them come here or you don't stay here this is very bad uh you die here also you waste two minutes here doing nothing exactly you are not doing anything here and you die here also right so my opinion is ck is not a very good defender unless you get the aghanim shard on this guy once you get the aghanim shard you can just poke them with the phantasm and then you have the 15 talent also minus 3 second chaos ball cooldown that is the talent you should take not the left one the phantasm illusion damage that that talent is good but not as good as the chaos ball stun because you can poke the enemies with the chaos ball stun Minus 3 second, this thing goes to 7 second man. You can just poke every 7 second. And the illusion lasts for like 6 second. So it's like 100% uptime almost. So this is a very bad move from you trying to defend this without your ulti also. I think you, I don't know how you go in here. But if you try to go in here, that is, this is a very bad game. You're just standing here, yeah? Doing nothing. I guess Chakiro comes and what do you guys do? BS is getting caught. You pull him. Okay, you get a BS kill. Okay. Okay, you get some kill too. Yeah, what I saw is that you went in here when you when your two spells were CD, right? You try to go close to them and on two spells are CD and you know there's a Kunkka with the uh, Kunkka with the boat, uh, this torrent. I don't know if you are aware but you saw a Kunkka with the torrent, you should be aware like Okay, Kunkka is gonna use my spell, uh, use this spell. So I should stay a bit far when I don't have spell CD because I saw you go on him with your spell CD. Right, that is what I saw. You got one kill here, uh, you didn't wait, I think you are going here at this point. Yeah, you should be turning backward right now. When you heard that Kunkka did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I, I will suggest you, like, when you heard that sound of that Kunkka, you should be running opposite instead of running in. Okay, I think you, you did well by using this to get rid of that thing. But you got caught. I think Viper does Viper Strike to you because I can see the animation doing that. Yeah. And you dodged it, I think. Okay, you didn't dodge it. Yeah, you didn't dodge it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, these are like minor details that you have to think, bro. This is how I actually analyze my replays and try to see you, like what went wrong. And the wrong thing. What happened here was your spells were CD and you tried to go in. Like, I don't really mind you going all these items right now. But the problem was your initiation. Like, how you went in without your spells. I get it, you wanted to kill that guy. But, like, minor details you have to think. That will make you a better player. Like, that's how most pro players are. Most mid laners that are, like, very flexible with 
embers and all that strong spirits so they think like this and they avoid fights like that and they take a plane fight you know uh, yataro does this every time if you go to watch yataro they play that's just how yataro tries to avoid every fight like he will let somebody else go in take the spells then he will go in or he will like wait for his spells to cd and then he will go in something like that that's just how i learn from them okay i think okay i think i've done enough right now i've told you enough about the itemization the skill build and this thing and how you initiate and all that okay if you had the shard i will show you like how good it is if you don't mind can i show you like from my game from the ck so the camera angle is very bad bro the camera angle is very bad you need to work on a camera angle for sure bro. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I played uh, the CK game. I think the last CK game was like long back, but still, I think my CK stats also bad, uh, 48 percent. No wait, this is hard support. Ah, okay, I switched the roles with the off lane. Okay, my laning stage is not as good as you because. I'm like in the killing mindset, you know, I don't like to farm creeps, I like to kill like whatever I see. My laning stage is not it. I just want to show you like how the, I initiate with the shard and this. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> Okay, see, did you see my courier just delivered a shard and a clarity and this thing? So this is like, okay, and then I TP to the mid lane because mid lane there's a lot of farm and I see this guys, okay. They're like minor details. I push the lane here and then I go to push the mid lane. So this will, so you can see what I did. I just put a shard here and I'm not even standing here. And I'm, I didn't omelet toggle this. This is my mistake. This, I'm no fuck in this. So this is my bad, but this is what it is. I use this thing to clear the wave and I don't show my hero. Now I'm just looking to find someone I think kill because I'm not showing on the wave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You completely escaped with that game. Yeah, I think we are going to rush. One more thing is that uh, my target priority is just see this game. Okay, my target priority. You know, my target priority in this game is Hoodwink. You know why? I will show you like how I die uh, from Hoodwink you know, in this game. And then after that, I just targeted Hoodwink. That's calm here. Very annoying. Okay, wait. Wait, I just want to say. Okay, yeah. Okay, this fight. Okay, this fight. This fight is the most stupidest fight because I'm full. I'm okay. I'm half HP almost. And I go to kill here. I use my phantasm here. Okay, yeah. Very stupid hero, you know, holding. Very stupid. I use, see, see how I'm playing. See how I'm playing. I'm just poking this guy with this. And I'm not going in. Okay, I'm just poking to see what is happening. Like I, I use my shard here, that means my phantasm illusion is there, so that means I get vision around the target. That's one more thing about the illusion, that is very underrated, okay? That is very underrated about illusion, like illusions give vision, so... And then I use my phantasm and I go in here. But you know what went wrong here? Just see what went wrong here. I go to kill this guy. But the wrong thing that happened is this fucker. This fucker completely destroys my illusion. Like he just completely destroyed my illusion and made me look like a joke here. So, you know what I do after this? Yeah, I'm playing like Ember. Yeah, that is how you should play, bro. That is how you should play. All the carry heroes, uh, all the carry heroes in the world, like play like this only. They play poke and style and they go. Unless 
they have their whole team right in front of them and then they will go and burst them otherwise they will not so this fucker he destroyed my whole illusion and killed me here and see my damage number i died from this guy for no reason he is a support hero level 10 i died from this guy and after this fight i'm like i was done with the whole game. i was very done with the whole game. and every fight after this i got my blink dagger 20 minutes which is fine okay this is fine 20 minutes blink dagger shard is everything is fine and after this fight just see who's my target priority i just destroy that whole and after that hoodwing is destroyed i'll be winning every fight that is like my target priority and you know why i used that uh, stun earlier like this was because i didn't have a blink dagger so when you don't have a blink dagger bro you just stun the enemy and see poke the enemy and see what happens okay but when you have your blink dagger see how i initiate with my blink dagger now okay i just need to little bit go forward see see okay see, i think i go on pass now i go on the hole see see my target priority bro see my target priority i know that nobody in the nobody in the enemy team can kill me if only ursa can kill me and this guy doom can't touch me np can't touch me even though he has all this item so pass also i don't give a fuck about pass the only guy I give a fuck about is this hero. And this is how I initiate on this guy. Yeah, I see, I see everybody here. I see everybody here. But I don't go on him. I don't go on the doom because these guys are there. And I don't go on this guy. I know that Hoodwing is here. So I just go on Hoodwing blindly like this. And I get the, get the kill on this guy. I want to make sure that this guy dies first. Because that guy is so fucking annoying. They get killed here. No? Okay, I get saved here from the clip. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, when did I not record this one? Okay. Anyways. But that's just basic my priority of fights. Because I want to get the kill on this guy. How much damage that holding me? I just want to know how much damage will this holding me. Okay, he did 900 damage. This hero did 900 damage in less than 3 seconds from a like... 900 1000 range so that's why my target priority is this guy yeah yeah aim the support this hero is very good at busting down uh squishy heroes without with less armor so in this game my target priority will be this guy or this guy not ursa i will not even look at ursa or even doom or np unless the other three are dead okay so see the next highlight okay yeah, I think this is another team fight where you can see this. Top tower is under attack. Then I go for Orchid, okay? I don't go BKB even though... I've... Yeah, I don't go for BKB for this reason. Because Orchid gives you mana and then it gives you kill potential. Yeah, I'm just looking for kills right now, but look at how I initiate, okay? I do like this. He ordering, stand first and then get it. I think it saves him a bit then. then I use Okay, that's, that's the thing I wanted to show you about this hero So this, uh, this is the only thing I wanted to show you, you know, you use your blink dagger, stun, uh, reality rift and kill that guy you saw I didn't even use the reality of phantasm to kill the hoodwink first. I just use this and this to kill the hoodwink. Because that is like my level 1 phantasm. You get it? That's just how it is. This hero does like 1000 damage in like 1 second something. See this. See this. 228, 300, 510. So this is equivalent to 1000 damage, right? 1000 damage only this is. So that's just how you deal, uh, play with this hero. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I think my farming pattern is kind of bad, maybe. Okay, I was 4,000. What about this? Uh, one more thing about CK is I would like to hear. Yeah. No problem, bro. One more thing I would like to suggest you about CK is that CK is very bad at team fights. Okay, he is very bad at team fights. So try to avoid teamfights as much as possible. Try to push the map uh, with your illusions 
and find pickups. Don't go in big team fights unless the target is isolated. Like don't go in a, a small area and try to fight. Try to stay away and try to look for more isolated heroes so you can kill them very easily. Let me support as I suck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wanted to play Bad Rider today. That's why you started this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can do 5v5. Like when you go with your smoke with your team. But try to avoid uh, very close areas. Uh, don't be very close to your teammates. So you don't get caught up in uh, multiple spells and try to stay away once you have blink dagger and shard now you will feel that um, you will feel like you can stay in isolation and you can stay far away and you can have a clean fights and you can pick off anybody easily so without blink dagger and shard you won't be able to do that but, but with blink dagger and shard it feels very easy to do that because shard gives you more uh, fast line on the chaos bolt so you can stun them from far range and stay away because your stun also is a projectile, right? It takes a lot of time to connect also. So you can just like slightly poke. This way. Prepare for battle. Decline this match without penalty and queue again. Okay. Fool your See, I just did what? I just did 500 damage with one stun without even committing to slash or more actually. 700, 800 damage without even committing. That's just how this hero is. And if I commit on him, I can kill him, I think, in the stun game. Yeah, I think I max this. Uh, this is wrong actually. I need to max this. But you can also max this if you want. But idle is this because this has six uh six second this for uh cooldown, so you can get back again. Idle is this. This is okay, like but you need this skill to farm and poke enemies much more. Okay, I wanted to play Bad Rider Sport. Oh. If you don't ride into battle, you don't ride at all. I think this build was working. I don't know why I quit this build. I listened to Shory. I this build is much better on this hero compared to the bling dagger thing. Because this hero takes a lot of time to kill enemies. So by the time you try to kill enemy, you die. You need to survive. This is like the best build. Phrase, customers. Rabbit start. Bad rider. Right Connect the streaming software to go live, inshallah. Hmm, they can't go live, man. <laughs> 